brought a feds with you. Anthony's here from the Opie and Anthony show. Hey, hanging out a little because, bit. Because uh, sure. a four-hour show is not enough for Ant. Not enough for me. Say you're right. I need more show. Yes. So I come here, Ron and Fez. <laughs> and unlike some shows, you don't push the other one out of the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. There are certain shows that go, okay, you can't go on because I'm still being funny. <laughs> It's going to be funny on the other show. Yeah, it's going to be funny on the other show. That's it. Nice. Never, you're just never going to see Letterman say to Greg Kilborn, no, nah, no, nah, we're on tonight. Right. You, <laughs> you sit. There's no barriers. What's this time thing? Right. I got to stop at seven. Nah, come on. All right. Uh, uh, Billy has an idea of, what are you calling it now, Billy? Cinco de Mayo. I thought he was saying it wrong, but no. All right, so this Friday is May 3rd. And you want to celebrate <laughs> Cinco, which is five, uh, Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, unfortunately, we won't be on the air on the 5th, so I thought it'd be fun to do on the Friday before Cinco de Mayo. And how does Cinco de Mayo work? How's it differ from Cinco de Mayo? Well, the difference is here, uh, the lucky contestants will be taking a spoonful of mayonnaise uh, every minute, kind of like a power hour. And every 10th, uh, every 10 minutes, they do a whole beer. Let's to wash it down. It's Beer just mayonnaise. stupid and it doesn't make sense. The Cinco understand. now has nothing to do with it, which is a little yeah, odd. It should be like Spanish or something. Hot sauce? Hot sauce on the table. Right, now it's hot sauce. That's ah. more Spanish. Corona. Corona. No. This is why Airsick broke up, Billy. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell well, you just that. what everybody else is talking about. Ron, this is a gem of an idea. This will work. <laughs> Yoko right. Mayo. Now, Al's going to do this uh, with you? That's what he says, yeah. All right, bring Al in, because We're... I thought he didn't even like mayonnaise. I hate mayonnaise. You yeah. like oh. mayonnaise? <laughs> mayonnaise. <laughs> Man. I wouldn't even sit at the dinner table if it was near me. I had to have it move like that. They didn't want you there anyway. I just want you to put your face down to it. What I, meal are they serving that has a jar of mayonnaise next to it? I wouldn't eat there either. Why don't you cook something, bitch, is what I'd say. You know what? Just today, I, I was looking at a jar of mayonnaise, and it had a chocolate cake on the back. And I just had to, I had to chuck it. <laughs> mayonnaise cake. All right, just get a big whiff of it, Al. It's a uh, big jar of the helmets. That's the good stuff. Yeah, at least it's good mayonnaise. Oh, boy. No, huh? It's like, it's... Does that take you back to your bad uncle? <laughs> oh, it's just like, it's like egg and... Yeah, no, and oil. Yeah, right, it's yeah. It's all the worst things. Yeah, so this is like the Cool Hand Luke competition, right. except right. it's all in a jar. Yeah. You're doing it by the spoonful instead of by the egg. You're the one who came in here saying I could eat more uh, mayonnaise than Scott Muni. No, I said I don't eat mayo at all. Mm. I don't even like that you're a better athlete than Billy Staples. Well, here's your chance to prove your athletic skills. This is more of a sport than typing. <laughs> Typing's a skill. All right, let's... Uh, Let's start it off now. All right, go ahead. Ugh. Get a spoonful. Now, Billy likes now, mayo, Now, first, right? yeah. You like the mayo? I, I like you mayo a on a sandwich. You yeah. got a heaping spoonful. But I don't know if I've ever had a spoonful of mayo in my life. I don't think I have. I never have. I think the most I've ever done is lick the knife. Oh, Sometimes so disgusting. <laughs> when you have a sandwich that yeah. has too much mayo or mustard on yeah. it, and you take a bite, and you're like, ah, oh, uh, and you got to kind of squeeze it out of the right. sandwich. <laughs> so I, I, I can't imagine a spoonful. It's where you wipe the bread or the roll on something else. Yeah, you gotta wipe it on a little paper. I'll get a big heaping spoonful. Nice heaping spoonful. There you go. Oh, that looks looks good. That's delicious. Look at that. All right, are we ready? Starting to smell already. We'll do it on the 30s, Mike. Can't do this. And go. Off you go, Al. Go, 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 (laughs) Al. You're behind. I'll do it. I can't do it. Go, Al. Go, Al. Just go. Al. Oh, stop it. Al. Al. What happened? Enjoy it. <laughs> what Ow, what happened? happened? You didn't even put it in your mouth. Oh. He's throwing up. Oh. <laughs> He's puking. Oh, I swear, I have a full view of this. He never even put it in his mouth. I can't get. I don't even. Want you to looked it. at it. I can't be. Near you it. looked at the mayo and threw up. I can't. <laughs> Billy, this is the shortest contest ever. Al. Al, how is that nice, creamy, big spoonful of mayo? I can't do it. Show him a big spoonful. Al, I just... Just take a whiff. Don't even taste it. Just take a whiff. Stop, stop. What's the matter, Uh, Al? Al, just look at the spoonful. It's creamy eggs and oil. I'm not getting out of here, seriously. (laughs) Creamy eggs eggs and oil. 
I don't even have anything now, in my stomach. Now, the thing is, Al, well. that's old mayonnaise. That's the problem with that. Yeah, that's been sitting out a while. All right, Billy, you got to do your second one. You think this is going to make for entertaining Ow. Friday night? Oh, he loves it so much. Now, let Billy make sure you watch him, and you might have to kiss him when no, he's no, done. No, 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 yeah, no. watch. You got to watch Billy. Though. Billy, you got to do another one. We got to, you know. Billy. What? Billy. Yeah, that ain't that much. Yeah, come on. That you isn't that much. Fill the spoon up. It's filled. Oh, <laughs> oh there he goes. Oh, oh. Uh, what is wrong with you, Billy? <laughs> oh, jeez. Billy? What? <laughs> this is the contest that you want listeners to come in and participate in. Right, Al have a, a half a spoon and full. Come on, Al. Forget it. Al Al's holding it. his nose now. Yeah, just he a half a spoon. Oh, Go ahead, just, Al. Just, just, uh, <laughs> isolate that one. Hey, oh, perfect. Hey, forty three oh nine. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Look at Al shaking. Come on, Al. You can do it, buddy. It you can do it, big come man. On, Come bird. on, Al. Hold it. <laughs> he didn't even put it in his mouth. He doesn't even taste it, and he starts leaving. Uh, all right, Al. We are going to get one of these into you. <laughs> Al, you have to eat some mayonnaise. You expect the listeners to do it on Trace de Mayo. Maybe he's not used to white, creamy stuff going in that hole in his body. <laughs> Try another one. I'm trying to. I'm trying to have have spitters or quitters. Now what? <laughs> yeah. Tell me. Hold on. Uh, you can do it, big man. Yeah, let me do it. Hold I want on, you to think mayo. Right. Think, think mayo. Think how it's mixed. I, that always helps no. me. Yeah. That helps me digest. Think of a big vat of it. Think of it mixing in some old tuna salad. Mm. Look how it just goes into it. Yeah. The spoon barely hits his mouth. Yeah. Look, you can do it. I know oh, you can I do know. it. I know. I'm going to do this one. Yeah. Hold on. All the way. <laughs> Come on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what happens? He's ready to go, and then what happens? He's, that is the he's funniest content. <laughs> now the garbage smells like I can't. I need to. Okay, All right, t- take a. Take a minute for yourself. Superman, we found your kryptonite. I don't even understand. For anyone thinking the spoon or the mayo is touching any part of his right. mouth, you're it just wrong. It gets in. It get, he puts the spoon, it's suspended in the, the, the mouth, but not touching anything. And then he just goes, and heaves. <laughs> he can't take the look or the smell of it. No. It's all mental, man. You're, you're like it's it's in your head because you're not. You can do it. this. You're holding your nose, so you're not smelling it. It's like having a three year old here. Ow, Come on, it's Al. mayonnaise. The French love it. You're gonna be a better person for this. Oh, no, hold on. They put it on fries. Make believe it's uh, the whipped cream. Yeah. Here you go. You can do it. There it is. Into his mouth. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Come on, Al. I'm, I'm just going to slam this one in there. Just slam it. Just, just slam it. You're taking too much time. There it is. There you go. <laughs> there it goes. Look at him go. <laughs> oh. God. He's shaking like a cold chihuahua. Look at his I, back go. I think you're getting better at it, Al. Yeah. <laughs> next spoonful. You're going to love the uh, next look spoonful. Look at this slobber. Look oh. at this slobber out of you, Just Al. drool strings. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> It's mayo. It's on his nose. You can't do it. Wipe it off your nose. I can't do it. Yes, you can. You're doing it. Breathe out. Breathe. I see you. You're doing it. You're doing good. Just smell the jar. I can't. Smell the jar. Get it out of here. Come on. Take a big bite of the whole. I can't do it. Lick it. I can't do it. Creamy eggs. Creamy eggs and oil. I want you to take a minute. We're going to try it again, okay, Al? All right. Come on. Do yours. Big heaping to... This is Billy. Billy loves it, Al. Look at Billy. Look at him going. Billy's Billy's a big boy. It's like Silence of the Lambs. Rub a little (laughs) under my nose, and here we go. Watch him. Oh, look. Oh, What does that mean, (laughs) Silence of the Lambs? At what point did they eat mayo and lambs? Oh, God. Oh. Oof. Mm. Al, I think you're getting a, a taste for mayo. You're you're picking it up, and you're letting Billy beat you in a yet another yeah, competition. This, this is contest number one. Well, th- oh. this is really not a con- shouldn't be a contest. <laughs> oh sure, but it takes. Skill. I have an allergic reaction yeah, you to can it. Do- yeah. <laughs> no, you don't have allergic reaction. Allergic reaction. He's sitting on the floor. You have to digest it first. Yeah, your neck broke out in one big hive. Oh, that's your head. Do you want it off a D? Would that help you? No, I'm, uh, no, that would make it worse. In a pump dispenser? No. Squirt gun? Huh? No, no to all those. Not Super good. soaker? My eyes hurt. What if you ate it off a hot dog? We'll go get your dirty water dog downstairs. No, it doesn't matter what it's on. It's it's. The, Have you it's ever the had it in a sandwich? 
accidentally when it's been on like a burger. And what happens? I say this is what you just witnessed gagging. <laughs> and then I throw now, off. Is it, something happened to your little, little kid? An uncle. Maybe no. that'll help you. Priest oh, to oh, <laughs> Here's uh, Mark. Mark, you're on Run Fez. I'm starving. Hey, Mark. <laughs> Hey, I'd just like to sympathize with Al a bit because I used to have a little mayo problem. Yeah. Yeah, when I was like uh, four or something, but not when I was like what, old and gay. Yeah, when yeah you get, right. When you you're know, four you and can, hetero, yeah, you can understand it. You think by the time you're old and gay, nothing's going to bother you. <laughs> Al, do you eat eggs? No. No. No eggs. <laughs> I was like waiting for what him to go, What do you eat yeah. for breakfast? <laughs> right. Threw me. I have cake, like uh, Drake's cake or Hostess cake. <laughs> and a coffee. Why are you the one getting stapled? I've never Drake's seen you j- drinking coffee. I have one cup in the morning. What do you like? Uh, uh, ring ding? To yodel? To uh, to uh, devil mouth. dogs. Devil dogs? Yeah, yeah sure. That's like the icing. big, brown, long, full of cream things? The devil dog? Who raised you, Willy Wonka? <laughs> devil dogs for breakfast. <laughs> hey, here's Hot Liz. Hot Liz. Hey, guys. Hey, how, how are you? Hey, Liz. Good. Hey. Um, I actually had called originally to sympathize with Al, but then he made the allergic reaction comment, and Al, you're just an effing idiot. <laughs> you really are. That could be a, an allergic reaction that I have, I'm having. <laughs> Why do you sound like you're drunk? I, because my mind is, my head is spinning from vomiting. Al, it's oil and egg. Yes. That's not a big deal. It's all the good I, stuff. I won't. I won't touch it with a ten foot pole. I think it's disgusting. But I, allergic reaction, Al. Please. Al will only eat it off a pole. All right, thanks. <laughs> all Where right, do you thanks. get Bye-bye. these spoons? I keep hearing about. <laughs> That's the one that is you're... that Crate and Barrel. Where do you get them? <laughs> crate and Barrel. I'd love to know. Give me a hundred spoons, please. <laughs> I how need, many makes a I set? I need service for 50. <laughs> Fezzy, how many, how many makes a set for you? Al, are you feeling like you want to try the mayo again? One more time. Yeah, Al. you've had some time one to more. breathe. If I do it, I'll try it one more time. Then my Here's throat is hurting. what you got to do. Hurting. Don't think about tasting it. Swallow immediately. Yeah. Yeah, just take it all down. Here, let let Rory hold it. No, no, no. I, I think I need to hold it. I think you should close his eyes and have Rory just snap it. No, right. no, no. Yeah, we're not doing good it. idea. Snap no, no. it in. I'll put it in. You gotta battle hard yourself, you know? You'll what time it is it? I'm right, Roy, I'm writing that down. 850 I'm gay. When I'm interested in one guy, if he doesn't pan out, I'll bang this guy. Uh, I'm gay. Well, oh, I don't have my own C. I'll try one more time. All right, the whole thing, just one more Okay, quick. but then that's it. Don't jam it in my mouth. Let me like hold it. Like your uncle told you. <laughs> oh, there's <laughs> another one. Don't jam it in my mouth. 850-45. He's eating it off a fork this time. This ought to be uh, a little different. You can a do fork. it, Al. This is not a normal food. All right. <laughs> no. I'm gonna, um, and this is my last time because I really, my, I'm, my eyes it. are bugging out. All right, get down there and uh, hold the bucket. This is my favorite part when he doesn't even <laughs> put it in his mouth. <laughs> I love this. Oh, look, look at this you can do it, Al. I'm going to try. He's getting in puke position. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me try one more. I'll try one more. Oh, oh, yeah, I think he's he's getting it. You're liking yeah, it. Yeah, I think right? he's starting to enjoy it. You're starting to like it, Al. I just I end up I drop it ends up dropping as soon as I t- um it touches my mouth. Let let eight fifty one thirty two. Let let Rory hold on to the spoon and he'll put it in. Okay. All right. All right. Please do it nice and gentle, Rory. Nice and gentle. Gentle. Yeah. Don't gentle. be. Don't yeah. try to do a joke. Yeah. Rory. Don't try to do a joke. Do a joke. Oh, right. Rory's not funny. Everyone knows that. <clears throat> Do you like it gentle? Okay, hold on. All right. Uh, give me a count of three. Close your eyes. Don't okay. Yeah, yeah, don't okay. even watch I it. I don't want to throw up. One, two, three. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out in the same clump it went in. I know. And then he starts eating. <laughs> look, look at him. Look at him. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> This absolutely fascinating. <laughs> it, it really is. That because here's the thing: you could say yes, people can't eat big spoonfuls of mayonnaise, but you, he can't look at it without no. puking. Oh, oh that hurt! Oh, that God. one hurt, didn't it, Al? Yeah. Al, do you have any other foods like no. this? We'll stock up. Olives, anything? Ham, deli ham, ham. You want a ham and cheese sandwich? <laughs> Extra mayo? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you want it? He'll explode. <laughs> 
You don't. You can't eat deli ham. No, I can't. What, what, what is it? Is it the texture, the taste? Yeah, what? they used to. My parents used to try to get me to eat it, and they right. would cut the smallest piece, and I would send out for deli. Deli ham. run. We got to try. it. Uh, run right next door. Save the mayo. Al, you relax. You're going to be having some ham and mayo in just a little bit. You're going to love it. We'll roll up some uh, deli ham with some mayo inside. And you're going to like the texture now, I think. As you get to be an adult, mm. the texture's better. Is it just deli ham, or do you like freak out at a honey-baked ham? Oh, like a big uh, I've never, holiday ham. I've never had the holiday ham, but I, would just avo- I just avoided it. Because you know what? The- I, I don't like uh, deli ham that's sliced too thick. Yeah, I'm the same I way. get very yeah, upset. Paper thin. Tissue paper thin. Right. It's got to be shredded. If it's thick, it gets slimy. Right. Right, Al? Slimy. Exactly. And it's a chewy. Right. You need that's why I don't thin. even like a big, like, real ham that much. Yeah. You know, like a St. Patrick's can't, Day? Can't because slice it's, it. Because it's so big and thick. Now, that's what you love. Oh, right? I that's, love that. Big and thick, yeah. Yes, uh, a big, thick fork. <laughs> the worst at A53. But I won't heave <laughs> if uh, I look at it. The that's best. that's why at Al's house, like on Easter, they would carve a Drake's cake. <laughs> right. A devil dog. A devil dog. Or if it gets in that force field zone of your mouth, <laughs> doesn't even have to touch anything. It crosses the force field zone. I think he's going to love it with the ham. Yeah. No. Hey, Kathy, you're running around a fuzz. Hi, Kathy. Hi. Yeah. I, I cannot believe he ate that. He hasn't and, eaten anything. Uh, well, well even, even looking at mayonnaise, smelling it, it is disgusting. It, it has got to be the worst food now, on the planet. Mayonnaise, the only condiment that uh, that some people are afraid of is the uh, we have ketchup fears. Do we have mustard fears? Ca- ketchup I'll do. Mustard I won't go for. Mm. Mayonnaise, definitely not. I've returned food that right. has mayonnaise on it. All right, it thanks. Is- I can't imagine this. Here's, uh, here's Sean. Sean. Hey, guys. I was just wondering if the mayonnaise would be easier for Al to eat if it was being served in the small of Opie's back. <laughs> <laughs> I know you thought about that, Al. Never. Liar. You are such a liar. Confess. That's okay. We still accept you. <laughs> Opie won't, but we will. I'm straight. Sure you will. There you go. When have you Well, that it? settled all the arguments, didn't it? Yeah, yeah right. Showed us. The debate is done. You and Paul Lynn. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back, and hopefully we'll have our ham by then. Oh, oh that'd be yeah. nice. So it's ham and mayo night for Al Dukes. It's the Ron Fest Show. We've just got some boiled ham in for uh, wow. Al Dukes, Sweet. and it looks delicious. Let Sweet. me take a look. Uh, Anthony's here with us for the ONA Show. Little thick. Yeah, it's a little thick. Ronnie, a little thick. If you look at it, yeah. not quite as thin as we like it. It's uh, that's Tissue lazy. Paper thin. Yeah, that's lazy. And you know, will you will you fight with them if it, uh, and send it back if it's too thick? I'll do it all yeah. the time. Yeah, that's much that's, too thick. Yeah, that's just useless to me. I say I I asked for it uh, thin, sliced thin, and they look and. Then you know they're spitting on it. Right. Anyway, so. Yeah, exactly. Well, you can at least watch them. I've it's seen not the like specials. sending a steak back. All right, let's bring Al in, and let's just yeah. introduce you to the boiled ham, Al. I know you say you've had this little phobic response. I want you to just pick up a, a slice in your hand. Uh, the whole studio full of a great smell of uh, yeah, ham. ham. That wow. smells great. Now, yeah. uh, hold your hand open, and okay. Rory, get it for him. Hey, t- yeah, uh, take uh, it off him. Hold your hand open. Hold and just slap it down oh. in there. Yeah. Now take his fingers and squeeze it, because I want you to squeeze. Oh, there you go. Squeeze God. the pork goodness. Yeah. Now, is there any kind of pork that you'll eat? I'll eat cooked stuff. It's this. It, this doesn't seem. This cooked. is cooked. I know, but it's <laughs> it's not sushi ham. You know, well, it's boiled ham, right? Yeah, but if it's uh, like, I'll have a pork chop. Because that's cooked. As a Muslim, really? You will uh... (laughs) Tonight we are exploring more of the wonder that is Al Dukes. We found out that he can't even look or smell mayonnaise without just retching into the waste paper basket. And now we find out ham has a similar effect. The ham on his hand hand is making me sick. (laughs) Yeah. Like just Al's hand. (laughs) Like now I'm imagining eating that ham and it's disgusting me. Al, do this much. Don't try to eat it, but just lay it on your face like Hannibal Lecter. Like... Like Silence uh, of the Lambs. Uh, uh, I, uh, uh, yeah, there you go. Mop your brow with it. All right, now let's just, Billy, oh, why don't you grab a slice for too. yourself? Billy, you grab a slice. And take a slice of that and put it down your pants so Al can get the, <laughs> get, Al can get the vision of right what down, it looks like. Uh, right down your jeans. Stick it down there. There it goes. Oh, oh, nice. oh, and mop it up. Wow. 
Mop it up a little bit and put that out there on the... Oh, God. Put that out on the table. So that'll be part of the fun. There you go. Boiled and stapled ham. Yeah. So he doesn't know... No, that... So does that help you? No, that's that wasn't. Billy really was so excited. He thought he was going to get to eat ham. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Horde King just wrote in that he's having clockwork orange flashbacks. That's funny. Way to put toothpicks in Al's eyes. All right. So you're feeling good. Now, just touch Billy's uh, ball. Uh, it was in his. Just, uh, yeah. And I'm yeah. sure it's a mess. Just down rub there. the ball here. I'm sure it's called now ball ham. No, I'm not touching it. Come on. He's a clean person. Look at this. I'm Come sure on. down there is. Are you hurting his wreck. feelings? You're hurting his feelings. No, I'm not touching You're hurting meat fist feelings. <laughs> hey, Billy, any uh, thoughts at all that you'd have a ham down your pants when you came to work today? It wasn't in my plans, no. Yeah. He never knows. See, these guys are great. They can't answer the phones, but both of them will put ham down their pants. It's great about them. Are, are you ready to eat a big chunk of boiled ham and mayonnaise? I've never had a big big chunk of it. My father would, he would uh, cut... Make this. out with you? No. Because <laughs> I'm wondering how this started. He would, yeah. he would cut the <laughs> smallest micro piece of ham and say, just try it. And the second it would hit my tongue, I was... And that was his unit? No, the ham. I can't, under, <laughs> I can't follow the story. Roy, second it would hit my tongue, came in at 9, 10, 25. <laughs> No, nah, you can't give him a little piece. Yeah, it was yeah? That? yeah, he's yeah, got to have a bigger piece. That's how small it was. Yeah, like yeah he's got, he needs a big hunk of ham, man hunk. Yeah, look at that Look at that slice, yeah. Al. You know, this is the Billy Ball ham, too, so. <laughs> oh, that's too much. That's now, too much. Here's what you need to do. What was that noise? Twirl it up. You know, twirl it like they do, like in sandwich breads. All right. You're allowed to use your fingers. Yeah. You, you know, you're a healthy person. It's not like you're Billy. I got to roll it up. Yeah, you like roll it up. Like a good the boss. Right. Now dip it in that mayo. Oh, oh no there way. You go. Oh, oh wow. that looks good. Now. <laughs> Ronnie Ham with mustard and mayo with you. The, wow. Well, I could go either way, but I'll, I'll mayo it up. I'm pretty much a mustard guy yeah, with but, ham. But yeah. see, the other thing is, I, uh, you know, being from Philly, I'll do olive oil. Olive oil? Yeah. It's a little odd. No, no, right. no it's a hoagie. Hoagie. Yeah. That's what they call them. Yeah. All right, now you got to bite down hard on it. All right, this is a nice ham roll dipped in uh, the get nice mayo. <laughs> you got to get in position because yeah. this is ridiculous. Yeah, that you can't eat human food. Yes, it is ridiculous. <laughs> Hold on, no, I, I can do it. I can do it. All right, I can bite it hard. Would you bite, rather Hold your on. first Hold slice on. didn't have mayo? It, you know, I, either way, I don't think it makes a difference. Al, I, I just, don't want you wasting ham here, though. I'm serious. Right, serious. now it's getting expensive. <laughs> this is. Uh, Al, I just want you to appreciate the moment you're in right now. You think you're going to throw up, so now you're down on your knees in front of Rory, who's dangling a piece of pork with mayo dripping off of it in front of you. Yeah. So just uh, appreciate the moment you're in. Jesus. All right, hold on. Let's right, not, not bring the Lord yeah, into this. That's no, I'm sorry. That's the son of God, and he died for your I sins. Apologize. Now <laughs> And <laughs> loves mayonnaise. Right, now you're bitching him. I think he invented hold it. On. There we go. Oh, Come on, just this bite is it. So brutal. I don't want to turn Hold this on. into a marathon I show. Don't just either. eat your food. I, but I can't just eat your lunch. <sighs> that little right. vegan baby would love to have this right now. Mm. My stomach is killing me. <laughs> Come on, quick. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, eat hold on. Your I'm, mayonnaise ham. Okay. I'm gonna do it on three. All right, ready? One, yeah. one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> I can hear that pouring out. Well, all right, not as good as we wanted it to go. Oh, that was. I was almost, Al. He just retched all over again. Oh, he's still going. Still going. Everyone's got their back to him. Do you want a beer to relax a little bit? Get him a uh, relaxing I think that's beer. what you need. Relaxing He's having beer. An aneurysm. A nice mayonnaise beer. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Al, you almost made it that time. I barely got that in my Did mouth. Did you like the texture? <laughs> no, and then with the mayo on it, it was both wow. I hit both at the same time. Just take a piece of that, just a small piece, and rub it on his front teeth so he gets the texture. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, you don't have to taste hey, it out. You, uh, no, you do it yeah, for him. Just rub it on his front yeah, teeth. Yeah, go ahead. Then you might get thrown up on. Just uh, uh, smile big. No, no, no. Hey, <laughs> 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 stop wasting ham. <laughs> he 
wiped his teeth with ham like it was a moistened towelette. <laughs> I've never seen anyone wipe their mouth use ham as a napkin. All right, Sheepy says, could you uh, roll the ham up so it looks like a beautiful C there that he could. Is that helping you the beer? It's, it is killing the taste. Uh, do you have yeah. any foods at all that you would act like Al? I can't think of. I, think, I can't think of one. I can't no. ever but have to be a dog to Not her. real food, yeah. yeah. Maybe the slightest thing for me would be like olives. Black olives. I would Really? I would probably spit out. Would you throw up, though? Oh, like no, this? I would not go nuts. It's amazing. Have you tasted black olives, or is it a psychological thing like that? No, Alice? I've tasted them, and I just don't like them. Blech. All right, Al, uh, here's a question for you, and this is an interesting one. Brian, you're on Ron Fez. Hey, Brian. <laughs> Oh, this bastard is always in the same <laughs> bit. He's worse than poo. Drink your, <laughs> drink your Al, beer. What about this? Have you ever had bacon? Yeah, I oh, can eat bacon. Oh, now well, it's, why is that? I'm, because I perceive this as a raw, as raw meat. So you no, can eat raw fully bacon. Cooked. No, I couldn't eat the raw bacon. Could you eat a raw hot dog? Yeah, it wouldn't. I, I wouldn't, but it wouldn't give me this reaction. So you need really crispy bacon. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. You basically want bacos. Yeah, I like it very crisp. But it's falling cool. apart. Does anybody else have a food that would do this to them? I have a problem with pickled juice. Like if I get a sandwich at a deli and they put a pickle next to it and the juice gets all in the in the bun. That annoys I, me. I can't eat it. Could you do a shot of pickle juice? I probably could, and it'll, it'll probably be really bad in my mouth. Yeah. I won't puke, but it'll you know leave yeah, a real see? bad taste in my mouth. I don't like when they put the pickle in the other sandwich. Oh, I hate. What about that. when like they just either. sneak one in? I don't like and you that. You're eating, and all of a sudden, boom! You, hit you pickle. get the pickle. It's just such a distant taste. I always hate that on the burgers. It. You go to McDonald's yeah. or something. There's one pickle or two or whatever right in the middle. So you're eating. You're not thinking about everything's it. great. It's like why should the flavor all of a sudden at the middle <laughs> ha- change? <laughs> to pickle. Like I'm enjoying the burger. It's a nice I'm pickly core. Eating. And then what? I'm t- I'm just uh, surprised with this pickle taste. But I won't throw up. Al, anything else that you won't eat? It's uh. Really, any of these deli meats other than turkey will will do it. Salami, me, but ham's the worst. Salami, bologna. Yeah, it's it, it's all seems the same to me. The, the turkey, I will have a a turkey sandwich, but I microwave it first to make it warm. hot turkey. I just need to make it warm, right? And not and just really it. dry it out, and make it more into turkey jerky. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at that beautiful sliced deli ham. It's, you can see the little white veins. I don't know running why someone all would choose to eat this. Like, of everything there is to eat, why would people choose it? tastes it? good. It's cooked. It's not raw. Ugh. It's porky fun. And then they'll put mayo on it. There goes the Boar's Head contract that uh, yeah. the Ron and Fez show we're going to get. Thanks we to you. We were raising that over and over. All that money for the station, nothing now. I just th- What kind of bread do you have? Wonder Bread every day? No, I, like a, I like a roll. Really? Yeah. Like the the, cir- the circular roll bun, because <laughs> you eat the same thing all the time, right? Okay. You eat the same breakfast, you eat the same lunch, you eat the same dinner. Yeah. yeah. When we come in the office, he's got like a little half a dried out sandwich, all rat holed somewhere. They just <laughs> nibbles on. Yeah. He like, gnaws on it with nothing. I put nothing on it, like no condiments at all. And then what do you have for dinner every night? Uh, grilled chicken uh, from the Foreman Grill. Nothing else. Uh, no, with uh, I'll, I'll make microwave vegetables with it. Don't act like the Foreman Grill is a restaurant. He means his George Foreman oh, Grill. I, I thought he went over to the Foreman Grill, some <laughs> restaurant. No, it means nice to see you again, Mr. Dukes. Right this way to your table. <laughs> Welcome to the Foreman Grill. He means that waffle iron. He's pressing every ounce of flavor out of his chicken whip. They bring the old time phone to the table for him. <laughs> He's an important guy at the Foreman Grill. Call for our Dukes. <laughs> hey, uh, Jim. Guys, cigarettes. Jim, you're on a fez. Hey, how you doing, guys? Yeah. I got to talk to you about blue cheese. If any food gives you the creeps, it's blue cheese. Oh, yeah. Blue cheese will do that for me. That it's, is gross. It's like the some moldy blue food good. on salad. Some moldy food good. Yeah. Some bad. You like hard cheese, right, Fez? I like hard cheese. I can't. Blue cheese, that's baby vomit. It's, it's like the just like baby monster puke. of salad. It's the blue monster of salad. It's <laughs> disgusting. <sighs> The uh, so blue cheese same for you, Fuzz? Yeah. Oh, that's bad. I can't get near blue cheese. That is bad. Mm. All right, here's our buddy Pantera. Pantera, you're on the air. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Pantera. Doing, guys? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, onions. It will just. I will instant vomit onion. if I have an onion in my mouth. If I smell it, uh, instantly. Now, raw onion or cooked onion? Either or. 
Either or. I can't. If in McDonald's, I get screwed all the time in the drive thru <laughs> <laughs> You tell them no onions. You Thank can't, you, Leo Gatz. <laughs> you, you can't tell them anything at McDonald's. They'll just say yes. No, yes, they're sure. yeah. the worst. Mm-hmm. And you're getting the same damn burger all the time. I love onions. No, I can't. I can't even watch people eat onions. I'll throw up. What happened to you as a little kid? I don't know what it was, but I mean, you can, I mean, I, I take a bite of a, a burger with onions and I mean, I, I threw up in my car one time. It was the, the as an old, adult, not a little kid. <laughs> Cause I understand when you're four and you're five, it's like your taste buds are right there. <laughs> Every taste is just incredible. <laughs> well, now I guess after smoking for so long, I'm like, whatever. I don't even know if it's, it's all you can put it. Yeah. 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 It all tastes the same. Here's uh bill. Bill, you're on a fez. Hey, Bill, what you got, buddy? Anthony, how are you? Huh? Listen, best thing for Al, <laughs> if the deli's still open, huh? try him on some head cheese or olive loaf. Yeah, would you try that? Olive loaf? That'll Ooh. work. Olive loaf is bad. I mean, bad. it's all the same thing. So having the ham here, having the olive, it would all be the same, same thing. thing. It's the oh, texture. Al, come on. Step up to the plate. Yeah. Swallow something other than the big C. All right. There's the problem. <laughs> I don't like gristle. Anything gristle? Sure. Like you're eating a steak and uh, there's a you big hunk of that, that, of that crunchy, thing. or chicken. You're eating the chicken leg and part of that cartilage off the kneecap right. gets in your mouth and you bite down and it's it's soft but it's hard and and you, you crunch a little bit. Ugh, that's disgusting. But as far as puke, no. Nah. Yeah. You spit it out. Yeah. You right. get the queasy little. Oh, Every I once did in throw a- up once. I drank. Uh, uh, some vanilla shake out of a can, yeah, and uh, it was sour. Uh, well, that's uh, but that's sour, yeah. yeah so that's, right. that's, that's poison. It's happen. Yeah. At that point, we're talking poison, right? Poison. But Al, you're saying good, healthy foods that way. All right, get your beard down so you can relax, because you're going to take another uh, run at the ham and uh, mayonnaise, <laughs> and this time I think you're going to make it. And you know what drives me nuts about this the most? Do you ever hear Al say thank you? I know. Thank you for giving me fresh meats and mayonnaise. You having refreshments? Mm, dinner. Yeah, Some not yet, not yet, Roy. We're Some no hurry. children and I don't know what you're wasting. Hungry. I see a lot of full ham going in there. Dig that back out. Where's <laughs> Billy's ball ham? <laughs> Al ate that the last time. All right. Billy, are you going to eat that? The ball ham? Is Billy, will you eat your own Billy, ball ham? if you ate that, you would be that so would be impressive. That would The puked up ham. Come on. Now. We would try to talk the boss and then quit this calling is the you ball ham. Oh, my God, yeah. not the ball Now, ham. here's the thing. Bill, uh, Al has to stand right next to you while you chew. And then right. kiss you. And smell your breath. <laughs> yeah. Smell the hammy ball ham breath. Ugh. Come closer. I'm Come here. Closer. I'm right here. Closer. Get closer. a little closer. Oh, you should so oh, look, look at him, Al. Look at him, Al. Look. Mm. Oh. Look him in the mouth, Al. <laughs> now, bl- 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 blow your breath in his yeah. face, Billy. Oh, <laughs> you stink. <laughs> oh, not God. This is a great kaboom. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> You don't like to smell a ball ham in your face. Ronnie, Billy hadn't chewed or swallowed enough so that when he blew on Al's face, tiny bits of ham hit Al in the face. A ball ham. Little ham meteorites, Jim, flying out of his mouth. <laughs> Al had to wipe ball ham off his face. I can't face. get off the ball thing alone. Uh, Forget what it was. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's uh, right Al, would you rather lick the ham off the, you know, them? Lick the ham? Off of them instead of maybe eating the ham with the no, ham uh, on it. I'm <laughs> straight if that's a gay ham. thing. I'm, I'm <laughs> you straight don't even thing. know anymore. There's ham in his pants. I'm sure you could. That's okay. Lick it. Ugh. No, but ham is good. No. <laughs> is it a little too bally tasting though for you? It's sweaty. No. I like ham and cheese. Extra oh, salty. Ham and cheese. <laughs> ham and ball ham, cheese. Ham and pants cheese. He's eating over here. All right, Dan. Dan, you're on round of fuzz. Nice work, Billy. Hey, Dan. Uh, Dan. Love the show, man. Yeah. All right. Um, Why wouldn't you? <laughs> all right. Um, I go to Newark a lot, and there's on uh, Portuguese restaurants, they have a thing called Rodigio, mm-hmm. where they put a bunch of meats on a skewer, and they just keep bringing it to you over and over again. And uh, one time, they brought some stuff over, and there was a bunch of chicken hearts, little tiny chicken hearts. Like, They're delicious. A, a chicken heart is a delicacy. Uh, that's disgusting. It tastes like liver. Yeah, well, the, every time you get a chicken liver, sometimes there's little hearts in there. Ugh. And that's when, you know, the kids will be fighting over them. Oh, <laughs> uh, one time I tricked my friend. I told him it was chicken nuggets. He ate like 10 of them before he realized they weren't. Yeah, well, you know. What's the difference? What part of the chicken it comes from? 
Could be the ass half the time. You don't know. Oh, it tastes like chicken. Sure. Grind them up and uh, press them into those McNuggets. One time I ate a bunch of stuffed mushrooms, thinking they were stuffed mushrooms. Uh-oh. They were escargot. Ah. Uh, they were snails. Snails, yeah. I yeah. eat snails. So they weren't bad. I wouldn't have eaten them knowing they were snails. But oh, thinking bugs. they were mushrooms, just a little chewier. <laughs> bugs. They were fine. <laughs> here's, uh, here's Jeff. Jeff, you're on a fuzz. Hey, Jeff. Hey, boys, how's it going? Good, bud. Hey, thanks for taking my call on the Food Network tonight. Yes, it is. It's the Food Network. We're trying to help out. All right. Listen, though, what about feta cheese? And doesn't it taste like puke? I mean, I've actually puked vomit that tasted like feta cheese. <laughs> That's like the blue cheese. Yes, you're absolutely right, Jeff. See, sometimes I think maybe, uh, uh, you know, that you will have a, a situation where you had the flu or something when you were younger. Then the last food you had, oh. then you get sick, then you remember that food. Psychosomatic, yeah, Dr. It's like, Ron. Yeah. Yes. That it's is a, very true. It's an anchor. For me, that was chicken nuggets one time. All right, Billy, I want you to have a whole big thing of mayonnaise, okay? Oh, what's uh, going on over there? Billy's going to... Uh-oh. Yeah. All right, Al, this one's for you, baby. Watch as it goes down. Billy wants Cinco mm. de Mayo this oh. Friday. Mm. And he's trying to oh, eat a jar of mayonnaise. Oh, so good, Al. Mm. <laughs> Creamy okay? goodness. Mm. Oh, uh oh. There goes Billy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, it wasn't as good as I thought. Oh. All right, just for the record, he made himself throw up. I'm just going to tell you that. He's sticking his fingers down his throat to freak Al out. Yeah, oh. do that. Um, Did it work, Al? I'm turned oh, away he's still from going. <laughs> Smells oh. now too. Oh God! I want Al. Look at his hand. Oh. It's covered in his own puke. Oh. Why are you doing this? Oh God! He's gurgling. I saw two Xanax come up. <laughs> still going. Uh. All right, Billy. That's enough. I saw some come out of his nose jets. Like a faucet. Billy, stop it. I know you're just trying to get a little air time by throwing up. You're not making even Al disgusting anymore. You're sending people out of the room. Oh, God, my eyes are watering. That got me. That got me good. My gag was going. Like you're ready to throw up. Here's what makes me sick. He's throwing up ball cheese <laughs> and ham pants. It's, he sounds like a cement mixer. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the gurgling and rumbling that goes on. Oh, he's deep. He's like a Vesuvius. <laughs> All right, stop it. Stop it. His head's still in the can. He's still puking. Oh, my God. Uh, lick his hand. <laughs> lick his hand. I'll give you a buck. I'll give you a buck. This is like Tijuana radio now. It doesn't even make sense anymore. <laughs> Bring on well, you know the what donkey. you're doing? We had something really nice going with Al, Billy. And you're coming in here high on Xanax. Uh, and I know that you're sticking your big meat hooks down your down your gullet. Wipe your meat fist. It is still dripping. <laughs> right, look at that. Oh, it's all smeared all over his hand. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> wash your you? hands. Why do this? I was sick. No, you weren't. I was sick. Why oh. would the meat hook be uh, so wet? Oh. oh god, this is this will go great Friday. We're not yeah. doing Cinco de Mayo Friday. Yeah, we were on that. There will be no Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> we'll do Guido de Mayo before we do that. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Wow. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, yeah. Al. You will be able to pull it off this time, I guarantee you. I'll give it a shot. All right? Yeah. Ham and mayonnaise. It doesn't sound that ridiculous to and say if, it on the air. If you know that Billy could eat his ball ham, you could do anything. Yeah, that's disgusting. All right. Team player, Al. I'm going to give it a shot. What kind of ball meat do you want? No, I'm just going to have the ham that we have here. Okay. All right, while looking at, at Billy's sack. <laughs> sack lunch when we return. Around the fence. Ron Bennington, Fez Watley. Fezzy, uh, during the commercial break, Big Kev went over and ate a piece of ham. 
Uh, yeah, and our guys went, what the hell are you doing? That's uh, show ham. <laughs> That's not a buffet, Kev. <laughs> he uh, actually started eating our props department. <laughs> Anthony's in studio with us tonight from Opie and Anthony. Oh, yeah. Uh, we didn't know this was going to be the show tonight, trying to teach Al how to eat a ham and cheese sandwich, but you're learning, Al. Well, it's not gone well so far. This started out... In your opinion, I think it's going fine. This started out with a mayonnaise-eating contest, oddly enough. Billy and Al going spoonful for spoonful. Al couldn't do one spoonful. As soon as he smelt it... Smelt it? Smelled it, looked at it. He started retching in the, in the garbage can. Now we find out he can't enjoy deli ham either. Ugh. That has the same reaction. Yeah. What can you do, Al? Is there anything in life that you can do <laughs> that, a normal, Human wise? that a normal man can do that you <laughs> also do? I just want to find one. No, other than these foods, all most other foods. No, you would tell us that you eat grilled chicken and vegetables every night. Right. Turkey every sandwich night. for lunch. Yes. And a Drake's cake and coffee every morning for breakfast. For breakfast. Most part of the whole thing of life is experience different things. Ronnie and I took the guys out the other night for dinner. Before the show, Al orders the most bland thing he can find on the menu. But I know I like that, so I don't want to... Why perish the thought you find something else right. to like? Yeah. You're all done. Yeah. Then You're I have finished. Bad, then I have a bad meal. If it's not something I like. You're having a bad life. I'm just pointing that out to you. That so means you know. so much. What he just said, yeah. it says so much <laughs> right. about... Like his problem. Playing safe. Yeah. If you tried something new, how could it possibly be a bad meal? Because then if I don't like it, now I have nothing to eat. But Why don't you order two things? You know ah. what they always say, too, when you try new foods? Be hungry. Be very That's hungry before advice. you try it. Something you like and you're happy with and have eaten for years and something new. And at the very worst, you know, you have a great story. You know? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. You know, I'm at this restaurant in New York City. I try the octopus. I try the squid. <laughs> but literally, Fez, you know, a pork chop would be that to him. Yeah, that would be exotic. <laughs> or erotic. I'm not sure. It's one of those. Yeah. <sighs> Nothing well, new. Huh? Billy Staples just puked all over the place right before the break. And uh, to sent him to the bathroom to clean himself up. He came staggering back in here. Big line of toilet paper stuck to a I shoe saw. behind him. <laughs> God! Just disgusting. All right, Al, you want to pull this off and try the ham, right? Yeah, I'd like to get you know get it down one time. And this is the only foods like this. <laughs> this is the only foods like this that you can pull off. Yeah, the ham and mayo is yeah, and it's a bad combo. Fez, yours is black olives. Black olives, I cannot stand. Start Blue freaking. cheese is really bad too. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I've ever swallowed an olive. Oh, really? Yeah, I've had olives before, and I've spit them out every time. I don't know if I've <laughs> ever actually put an olive all the way down my gullet. I, don't I was, like those pimentos. Those are all. I was with my uh, five-year-old niece not too long ago, and she ate something that she didn't like. We're in a restaurant, and she stuck her tongue down and just rubbed it across the table <laughs> to get it off. <laughs> and that's how kids are. It's just the worst thing when you're a kid. When you're an adult, I can't understand this, though. But it's from childhood. I wouldn't eat it as a child. What happened? <laughs> no, it had nothing to do with that. I just I wouldn't try new foods. Yeah. Hmm. And this was one that was always served at family gatherings. So they always said, just try the ham. Have a small piece. Try this little piece. Well, it doesn't seem outrageous to try to get you to have ham. Yeah, what's? I mean, they really focused on it. No one's asking you to eat calves brains or anything. I felt that way about artichokes when you're a kid. Right. And then your, yeah. your taste matures. And all of a sudden, it's one of my favorite foods. Right. I felt that way about almost everything when I was a kid. Yeah. I'd rather have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich when I was a kid. Right. But now I'm a person. Now I'm a man. Right. And I, and as I got older, there were more foods that I would eat that I wouldn't eat as a kid. But this one never. What? You wouldn't eat what? Chicken and vegetables no, like, as a kid? I eat pickles now. I never had those as a kid. Wow. As a kid, I oh thought God. I'd want like for breakfast a yeah. uh, devil dog. And then I realized <laughs> as an adult how ridiculously stupid that is. You know? Some people, I guess it takes long. What does your parents eat for breakfast? We all grew up having... Uh, it sounds funny because we had cake and then we'd have like, even a Coke with it. You had cake and Coke for breakfast. Yeah, I know. It sounds I used to get up and have too? Coke for breakfast. Did you start it? 
Maybe he's like little Anthony from the Twilight Zone episodes. Right. Oh, yeah. And, and he wanted the cake <laughs> and the soda. And they're like, oh, OK, yeah. Anthony. We love it. Yeah. Oh, this is the best breakfast ever, Al. And then one time he made his sister's mouth disappear. Yeah. Sure. Sent the other guy to the cornfield. <laughs> Turned him into uh. a jack in the box. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Make it go away, Al. Make it go away. Send it to the cornfield. Well, when else are you supposed to eat those things? I mean, that's what they're for. <laughs> what? For breakfast? The cakes, Hostess, and Drake's. Those yes. are for breakfast. Yes. For breakfast. How about the Coke? You think of that as orange juice? No, the, the Coke was always weird to me. Fresh I never. Squeeze Coca Cola. And by the way, Devil Dogs and Coke don't even taste well together. You need something no. else, a creamier drink. Yeah. You know, I, milk or even chocolate milk if you're not into that whole thing. Yeah, I would have milk, but my sisters would drink the Coke with the breakfast. <laughs> While they're making out on the porch with some guy? <laughs> Oh, I forgot big, about that. Yeah. Oh, I remember those. That's stuff that yeah. you used to love, right, Al? Yeah. Was your first batch? <laughs> no, I didn't batch to that. Now it makes sense, Ron. You're peeking through the front porch window at your sister. <laughs> Sit Just, on the porch swing, watching the sunset, giving him a handy. He's laying there in bed. <laughs> this isn't happening. This isn't happening. My sister's a good girl. <laughs> Do you lick the cream out of the side first? No. Now? Yeah. I no? used to when I was a kid, but I eat sure it normal now. Now, now. you say just... that for last. The mature thing to do. <laughs> right. I don't do that kid stuff anymore. <laughs> no, huh? Did oh, you used to wow, break it in half and lick all the cream out and then just have lousy cake? <laughs> no, I don't even throw that away. Throw the cake away, wash it down with some Coke. But when I became a man, I put away boyish snack cakes. <laughs> <laughs> you ever break it up and have a different kind of snack cake? Ooh. Twinkie, anything? Uh, every once in a while. But I would. I Christmas, would, uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> Family get around and you carve up the ding dong. Sure. <laughs> That's a special moment. <laughs> Sunday breakfast with the parents. <laughs> yeah, there's a six pack of Coke out there on the porch. Why don't you grab one for your mom, too? It's just an array of little Debbies and six packs right. of Coke. Oh, we're having brunch at Mother's. Remember that this week. His mom has those. Little airplane cocktails that she's pouring into the Coke can. <laughs> yeah, whole Coke for breakfast, honey. It's just Coke. By the way, tell your sister we're ready with breakfast. <laughs> tell her to get down here. Hey, uh, Jim. Jim, you're on Run a Fest. Hello, Jim. My mom used to eat pancakes with syrup and wash it down with Coca-Cola. Mm, that yeah, don't work. Right. Well, call her. That was grotesque to me. Always, always love your mom, okay? No matter Until what. Her pancreas exploded. Yeah. Jesus. You ever have a pancake, Cal? Ooh. Sausage? Yeah, occasionally. <laughs> you don't, do you? No, if we would no, go but, out for breakfast. What is this good. strange food you brought to me? Like it was Vulcan food. You know, a pancake would actually be a breakfast snack cake. All right? If you could think of it that way. Vol once brought us pancakes. <laughs> Vol puts fruit on the trees. What about I make it from eggs, bacon, sausage, pancakes, and some leftover pork chops. <laughs> yeah, look it up. <laughs> that sounds so good. <laughs> God, that sounds great. That breakfast sausage is great, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. nothing like it. You like that, Al? Link or patty, Al? Um, I never really eat the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Time check. 9.43.21. Roy, you got some work to do after this show. You're going to be like Mars Day in the time after this. <laughs> You're so busy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Green Jeans is laughing from the other room. Yeah. A black right, man I'll just po poked through the blinds and finish laughed. Your, finish your beer, and we're going to get into a little ham and mayo for whatever Big Cab didn't eat. <laughs> He was coming he, through here like a bull weevil. He All thought the show was himself. catered. <laughs> Finish that beer down, Al. Oh, uh, like a big man. Finish that off. Yeah. There's not that much left in there. You know what I would do, Al, What's if that? I were you? Get some mayo, right? Mm -hmm. Get the slice of ham. Put the uh, mayo on the ham and then roll it up and call it a yodel. <laughs> there you go. Right? Because yodels are a great breakfast snack cake food. <laughs> Is there a difference between yodels and ho-hos? Yes, 
Absolutely. What is the difference? The cream is much better in a yodel than it is in a ho ho. Really? So it's almost like, like a granular. Knockoff. It's a granular, sugary type knockoff. Yeah. It was two different companies. Or that. <laughs> Could have covered it just by saying that. I was buying stock in ho ho's when I should have <laughs> bought at the uh, yodel company. That wasn't the answer I was looking for, Al. All right, we're going to blindfold Al now. I don't and here's the, here's the best way we're going to do this. <laughs> we're going to blindfold you, <laughs> and as soon <laughs> as uh, Roy, as soon as we get the uh, ham and mayo in, let's duct tape. <laughs> duct tape his mouth, and I bet then he oh can finish God. it. So that he has to chew. All right, we have knows. duct tape. Take your time. Go down to the office. We're get, get our blindfolds. We get know our, we have blindfolds. We have blindfolds and we have duct tape. All right. And this way, Al. And for some reason, Al wants his faggot of the opera cape. He just wants to wear that around the office for a while. It's exactly what the mamas and the papas did to Mama Cass. They had her eat the ham sandwich and then slap duct tape. No one remembers that part, the duct tape part. Sure. When they found her in that hotel room. And then uh, Sunday, go over your mom's house for ring dinks for breakfast. How's that? Nice. A special day. A special, special time for all of us. What's for dinner? Sloppy Joe's? How's it work over there? How do you feel about those? Uh, we would have those occasionally. Yeah, it wasn't well, Sloppy me, Joe but... was your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Joe's coming over. <laughs> He's sloppy. His name was Hellman. <laughs> Hence the uh, aversion. Hellman. <laughs> Hellman. Hey, uh, Matt. Matt, you're on my What's going on, guys? Hey, Kevin. Matt. Uh, what's the difference between a ring ding and a ding dong? Now it's two different companies. I mean, right, one, but what's the difference? Okay. Taste? It's well, the same thing? No, I mean, are they uh, the same shape? They yeah, are the, the same. same shape. They look exactly the same. They're yeah. both round, have a chocolate covering and yeah, cream filling. But the Drake's is like a darker chocolate. Okay, well then that <laughs> that would be the difference. Right, but, what, but then what's a I king? Think he's don? lying. What's a king don? <clears throat> That's that, a Saturday night for Al. <laughs> Uh, the answer feedback says that the ding dongs are also puffier. Is that true, Al? Yeah, I would say that. Then why didn't you? <laughs> the ring ding is. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with the ring ding? Are you going to critique? It just the ring ding? It sounds so funny to try to explain snack cake, oh, but there is a difference. You know, you know. There is no, there is a, there is a difference. difference. This is your... The Drake's cake when they when they do a chocolate coating. Yeah. It's a darker chocolate. I say, Hostess is lighter. This is your new segment, Al Duke's fast food critic. You know what I we're going to do? Them on uh, that one. Al, I'm going to drive you down to Philly, and we'll walk through the Tasty Cake uh, Warehouse. That would be good. Right, you know that's uh, got to remind you of Mom's Kitchen, huh? <laughs> I eat the uh... <laughs> what? He cracks the chocolate off of the uh, ring ding first, right? No, right now I'm going. I'm going between. I have either a Devil Dog or the. Uh, Butterscotch crimpets at the, the tasty cake. Now that's like crimpets. apples and oranges. Yeah, yeah right. But the, yeah, it's crazy. The butterscotch crimpets are out of this world too. Al. I'm gonna agree with you. On that yeah, one. those are good. Yeah. You ever unroll the yodel? No, you peel I, the chocolate no, off. I eat it like it's you got to peel the chocolate off and then you unroll the cake and eat it in strips. No, I right, finish your beer, Al, oh, and <laughs> we're gonna blindfold you. Stick the ham and mayonnaise in your mouth and then duct tape. <laughs> so you'll be able to finish. And all the. We have duct tape. Where do we have duct tape? That's Don't worry. This it. way you're going to be able to finish with all the privacy that you need. Oh. Tape his nose, too. <laughs> tape his nose. So, and the then we're going to throw you in the East River. Trust me, the way Pete Johnson uh, patches the station back together, we have duct <laughs> <Sure>. tape. <laughs> duct tape is. Uh, That's, what if I. Uh, Vomit while having the duct tape. That's on part it. of the experiment. Uh, that's not good. That's and how people like die. Silly. What people? Like Mama Cass. <laughs> she had duct tape on her. Come we, on. We cut off your ear and play stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> now, now I know how these urban myths get started. <laughs> I'm doing this because I hate cops, Al. That's why I'm putting <laughs> ham and mayonnaise in your mouth and duct tape. And you could scream as much as you want. Why do I have to be blindfolded, though? I don't. That's part that. of my mm. fun. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's just to turn me on a little bit. How much you enjoy a good <laughs> breakfast cake? Ronnie enjoys the blindfold. That's just something to get me through the night. <laughs> Later when I'm banging the chick, I'll be thinking about that. <laughs> and then we duct taped them. You're so cool, honey. You're so cool. Oh, Actually, I was, I've seen too much. I need this extra little thing to keep going. 
Okay. And I'm proud of you for this. Yeah, this one I have. I like get I'm in a chair. I, mean, I want to get you in a chair for this too. Uh, right? This could not be. Yeah, yeah sit Billy's going to hold you in the chair. It, I think it puts a little more pressure on you, Al, to yeah. actually do this. Right. It's not as easy now to just right. expel it. Yeah. I'm going to end up. <laughs> I put him in the chair. He's got a manhandle. Gasoline. All right. Everyone settle down a second. <laughs> Everyone settle down. <laughs> My favorite. Well done, the dance. Ronnie's doing the dance. <laughs> My favorite thing earlier tonight was, I don't want to be blindfolded again. I don't want to. All right, get the blindfold on nice and tight. Before we put the blindfold on, I want to hold the ham and the man. Why? Because I don't know. What, you know, you guys do tricks and everything, and you'll someone what will are slide. We, ham magicians all of a sudden? <laughs> something crazy to me. Or the, something. Master, you have our word. the master of the park illusion? Yeah, uh, you have our word. $100 if we stick anything in your mouth other than ham and, and mayo. <laughs> And I don't and want I'm it to be. Here's ham. my fifty. Yeah, <laughs> I'm holding the ham first. Right, but then you got to get duct taped right after. Yeah, but that. then you know that's going to be a mess for whoever's near me. All right, that's why I want you just mouth open and let them Uh-oh. pop it in. It ain't going to be much, Al. Here's... I know it's not going to be much, but it's that <laughs> it doesn't matter. Get a tiny piece of ham, tiny. Oh, no. All right, just small. Move the chair over. I'm going over. <laughs> I'm going way. I'm going small. No, no, no. As as way he... smaller. I don't want you going crazy, Al. I want you to relax. Move his drinks away from him, please, in case he does go crazy. I want you to lift up your eyes right now. Yeah, so you can see the size of the ham. That's tiny, right? Okay. All right, now just dip in some, uh, dip it in the mayo. All right, Al, and then all you have to do, Al, is just pop your mouth open. Who's got the duct tape ready to go? That should be out already, Mikey. Get it all ready. Yeah, you're, you're following him in, Mikey, and don't miss your... Q. It's All a right, quick right. move, man. Yeah. Got to be ham and yes. duct tape on. I I might. Th- You're not going to Al. throw around wildly, so no. get out of yeah, the way. Yeah, we're throw out of the way. Let's turn it yeah. into Paul Lowe. All right. <laughs> All right, so Rory uh, with uh, they've got Al blindfolded. What are you guys doing now? Yeah, what is this? Trip? Taking the headphones off just in case he does go. Yeah, that's a good point. Take your headphones oh, good idea. off. Good Yeah, yeah. This is smooth. Well, I'm trying to take them off front ways <laughs> instead of hanging the man. Okay. All right, so they got him blindfolded again. Rory's going to put the ham and mayonnaise in his mouth, and then Mikey D is going to immediately <laughs> duct tape the mouth. And before we do this, I just want to get my... Oh, oh, nice. Oh, just a pop on the bald head. Wow. I just remembered a couple of things he did that annoyed me before. All right, now, now I'll pop the mouth open. Hold on. Right, hold on. How is this working so I know what we're doing? I want you to have your mouth open, Al. Okay. And then when you, when you feel the ham hit, shut your okay. mouth as much as you can, okay? All right. Am Ready? I have a garbage near me? Yeah, you'll have a garbage near you. Right. You're blindfolded. One, two, three. Ham in. Duct tape on. All right, good. All right, he's starting to freak a little bit. Uh, but I don't think pull it okay. off. Don't. Oh. He's trying to pull it off. Oh. <laughs> Damn, I really... I thought that would have worked. Yeah. <laughs> the sound he made before that duct tape popped. <laughs> and you could hear the duct tape ripping the razor stubble off <laughs> as he pulled at his own face. It came out of his I nose. It didn't help at all, Al. No. You want to try it again? No. I, about, do, I can't do it with no. the duct tape. No. Al, how, what about a stapler no. or some kind of a glue product? <laughs> Crazy glue. No. I want no. to do it from right here. With the duct I tape. I can do it. Yes, with I don't the need duct the duct tape. tape. I we love need your the duct des- tape. I love your desire. I think you should duct tape right, his hands him, him because he seems to, he pulls he at the duct beer. tape. He, you no, kill I, a I'm beer. With the beer. Yeah, you kill a beer, ham, mayo, duct tape. Can you duct tape his hands? He seems to be pulling at yeah. the duct tape. He pulls at his own face. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You know, unless we could get one of those big funnel things the dogs wear after surgery yeah. around their head, so wrist. then he can't Let's get, get to it. it. On the freaking hair. What's the problem now, Al? These guys don't know how to duct tape. Oh, I should have done it behind his back. Sorry, they haven't tied up as many guys no, as this you is, have. This is stupid, dude. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> this is everything so dumb. prior to this. Has this is been good. Fine. All right, now his wrist are duct taped together. I've got hairy wrist that you guys. You <laughs> right? could have put a paper towel around it first. Let me then, raise Al, your wrist, Al, so I can see him. I know it's, it's just not silly. as sexy as you're used to. Oh, <laughs> I have sex with women only. When? Liar. When? When? Or, or it hasn't been a while, but that's only women. Before we met you, right? Yeah, well, I mean... Women puke when he we leaves his mayo on their sweater. We work weird happened. hours here, so I don't get to meet a lot of <laughs> All right, kids. All right, pour that beer down his throat. Yeah, that's that, four, out of, four out of 24 we work, Al. All right, okay. <laughs> weird hours. <laughs> yes. 
Mm. All right, they're feeding him a there beer. All right, come on. <laughs> That's <laughs> what stupid. You what can't happened? Control somebody how much they drink. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Finally, Chris, finally Chris, someone understands Billy. He drinks. Finally. Right. <laughs> you, you, you can't just keep slamming something down, the, you know, the, the, the drink down. When you, a person stops, they stop. You drink beer. It's like, internal. You drink beer like Wallace Beery, where at the end you just spit it out. All right, ready? Do it again now. Then another big hit off the beer. So that's going to hurt. Let me control it. liquid courage. Watch, liquid courage. Watch out, work the DSLs on this beer bottle. There you go. That's someone else is feeding them. <laughs> Let me control. I, I, I don't like the wrist being high. I feel like I'm going to go berserk and punch a wall. You're fine. Wow. Right now, Rory has got Al's wrists uh, completely taped together with the duct yeah. tape. Al is still blindfolded, and Rory's been uh, nursing him a beer. And by the way, this whole stupid act's been going on for two hours. <laughs> yeah, because it's stupid Billy with this dumb idea. 